And we're just around the corner here, aren't we, from the hotels that, yeah, that sold yeah. their hotels or got paid to give them over to yeah, the migrants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you able to get a place like that? No. no I, mean, I would love to, you know what I mean? But they come first, don't they? You know what I mean? The government's, uh, the government's paid for them. This may look like a hotel. It may even call itself a hotel. TripAdvisor says it's a very nice place to stay, but it is not a hotel. It is a hostel for illegals right here in the UK, one of five hotels here in the lovely British seaside town of Skegness that have handed over their premises to the Home Office in their efforts to hide away the problems of illegals right here in UK. And this, the Sun Hotel, is another one. Presumably they think keeping the blinds shut and the curtains closed means that no one can see the problems of housing illegals right here in the heart of what is a family tourist destination. And another one, the Chatsworth, bought out by the Home Office. And another one, this time the Grand. I do hope that that illegal gentleman there in the window was enjoying his three hot meals a day, all his utilities being paid and his free accommodation. So you, how long have you been homeless for here? Uh, I've been in Skegness about three and a half months now, nearly four months. And uh, what do you call it? I've tried my best to get somewhere to live in that, you know what I mean? But you can't get anywhere? No, I can't get nowhere at all. So you I mean, sleep outside? It's sleep bloody outside. cold at the minute. Yeah, it is cold. It is pretty cold. And I so just... I've got this sleeping bag. That's all I've got. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so. we're... Um, where were you born? I was born in Nottingham. Nottingham. And we're just around the corner here, aren't we, from the hotels that, yeah, that sold yeah. their hotels or got paid to give them over to yeah, the migrants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you able to get a place like that? No. no I, mean, I would love to, you know what I mean? But they come first, don't they, you know what I mean? Government's, uh, the government's paid for them, you know what I mean? Why can't the government pay for the English people? You know what I mean? Like, like, cause like you know what I mean? I've been like, we're, I'm, I'm English, born English, you know what I mean? Why can't they sort us out first? Yeah. You know what I mean? So they're, they're foreigners, you know what I mean? So, so it goes into it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm really uh, peed off at the minute, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, still, so. Just you, and would you like to be in a in a room? In a, yes, I would, yes. yes. Just yes. politely asking. Yeah, I'd love to like, get in a room, have a nice shower, have a nice comfortable bed, you know what I mean? Sleeping, you know what I mean? So a concrete floor, you know what I mean? And so. of the people of Skegness, are they, are they good to you? Like yeah, the yeah, people, ordinary yeah, people. people, yeah, yeah. Like barbecue. I'm just going to show you. You've got your little coffee there. Yeah. I mean, and you've got your little uh, breakfast. I don't want to interrupt you eating that either. Yeah, I'm going to let you right, go. Right, nothing right. worse than someone interrupting you when you're eating your it's food. It's all right, isn't it? It's all right, don't, you know what I Yeah, mean? So, so you're making the best of it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But just hard when you see. It is, yeah. As I go quietly about this place, and, and this hotel is right next door to the migrant hotels, one of the things you hear over and over again is why is it just young men who are here. If the places they were leaving were so terrifying, why would you leave the women and the children behind? And in this family resort, everyone seems to say, you know, if it was little families, we'd be wrapping them up, we'd be helping them, we'd be wanting them to be okay. You know what, there's about 20,000 people that live in Skegness, but in the summertime, that population explodes to about 250,000, 2.3 million people came and visited Skegness last summer, making it one of the top three tourist resorts here in the UK. And you know, not just 50% of the local workforce work in tourism, they also love it. These people are proud of their tourist industry, proud of their town and excited to be showing it off. And I think it's exactly that pride in the tourism industry and love of community in Skegness that explains why the owners of this hotel, the Hatters, refuse to take the government cash and sell out the local community to illegals. The reason we turned it down was because of our morals and beliefs. Um, when we bought this hotel, there, there wasn't any migrants or illegal immigrants in, in this town. Um, and within a year, the whole scene has changed. Skegness is a, a seaside resort, uh, and it's been a hub for tourism for generations. Um, and this, people come here for the beach, the sea, arcades, donkey rides, amusement parks, etc., etc. And 
bringing so many migrants into, into this town is going to put tourism off. It'll become a ghost town. It'll become known as a refugee town. What's it been like, the reaction to you turning down half a million pounds? The local support has been tremendous. Like We have had so many locals, and even people who aren't locals, uh, send us emails, postcards. Aww. We had one lady, bless her, and she didn't even, she didn't put a name. Well, I'm saying she, it could be a he. <laughs> uh, she <laughs> sent us a letter with £20 in, bless her. I mean... As nice as that was, we literally, we don't want no kind of financial support because this isn't no alternative kind of motive. We're doing what we're doing to make a stance, to show the local community that this is what people should be doing. Oh. There is no amount of money in this world um, that should be deterring people away from looking after this family resort and the community, uh, which has took them so long to build up. I, I, I just love you. I. The reason I came here to stay quietly, as you know, sneaking about for a couple of days, yeah. is just to say that people like you make such a difference to people all over the UK because they see you and they feel some kind of hope. Like, all is not lost. That's what people say when they see what you've done to stand up and make this stand yeah. for your community. Yeah. Not everyone's a bad guy. Mm. Do you know what? To be honest, we never, ever expected, uh, you know, the reaction and the press that we've got. We just simply done what we've done, which is reject the offer to house the immigrants because it's the right thing to do. Mm. It's on our moral compass. You should be looking after the community. And I mean, what, what? it's just a family seaside resort, right? It's a tight knit community and we are just trying to do our part. Certainly. That is all we're trying to do. This is my room here at the Hatters Hotel. I'm staying in the Queen of Heart Suite, obviously. But I came here quietly just to thank Gary and Dee for making a principled stand, turning down half a million quid in order to try and protect the tourism industry here. And it's so easy for The Guardian, the BBC, the left to, to label the people of Skegness as, as crazy, angry people or as racist, because that's a word that's thrown around all the time. But, you know, spending time here quietly, I've realised the very opposite is true. The people of Skegness are not anti-anything. It's that they're positive about what this seaside resort has to offer. They want to welcome people, which is why they need to protect tourism here. They want the 2.3 million people who come here to have a happy, traditional family holiday by the seaside. And that's what some of them are fighting so hard to defend. You know, I came here to see what was going on and I leave optimistic and positive because this is a really lovely place. And if we're going to fight for anything, we should be fighting to maintain and preserve these lovely places so that more ordinary British families have somewhere to go and find the fun. I want to say on behalf of anyone, even though I only speak for myself, I know that I don't speak for anyone else, but thank you You're to you, welcome. your family, your husband, your staff. Just thank you for giving everybody else a little bit of hope. When things seem pretty dark, somebody like you can make such a difference. That means so much, honestly. Don't really shouting at me, Queen. You should be shouting at all the people who sold their hotels to illegals here in Skegness. <laughs>